you'll see out here are, we believe, the first commercial scale working biomass producing for renewable fuel systems in the world. And we are the company that's ready to go commercial this year. And by going commercial this year, we hope to make Florida a huge energy exporting state and the United States an exporting nation. But we're also licensing the technology around the world to other countries. Everybody, of course, wants renewable energy because the sources of non-renewable energy are, are running low and uh, everyone needs energy to grow. So uh, the basic options are you can grow large crops, we call them macro crops, like corn or palm or jatropha or soy, rapeseed, and uh, make various oils and meals that, from which you can make fuels. That's one way to go. That's the macro crop. Um, the problem with macro crops is they are big, so they take a long time to grow. So you only get a harvest once every few months. With micro crops, microorganisms, you get a harvest every few hours. So we can make 25 to 100 times more biomass per acre with this technology than you can with any of the macro crops. And so our technology is now ready for commercialization. And the micro crops utilize very much. What's different about us than everybody else who does micro crops? Everyone manages. Micro crops are just microorganisms. Exactly. So not only do we not compete with food, we create an entire new source of food. Wow. And a particularly difficult kind of food, i.e., protein, that you apply technology to and make them grow in a much more accelerated pace. Just like cultivation in the 50s and 60s doubled the production of corn and rice, and they called that the Green Revolution. Well, you might think of this as the second Green Revolution.